Wayne Vickers here for MC News. Day one of the media launch for the new Husqvarna Norden 901. We're having a great day. It's a pity not all days are like this. But here we are up in the high country of Victoria, just out of the back of Hotham. We've just had a pretty spirited charge up the tarmac in Hotham, but we've done a really good mix of, of gravel uh, and sealed roads. Some rougher stuff like we've got in here. But really, this is kind of a bit of an all-adventure tourer type bike. Uh, the big question for everybody in terms of Husky fans and adventure bike riding fans is really where does this sit in between the 890 and the 890 Adventure R? And we, we were sort of a little bit um, confused as we're not confused, maybe skeptical of whereabouts it would, would actually float in between those two. Really, I think it's probably aimed more at people who are, are looking to do your, your longer gravel road adventures and your, your more hardcore stuff, which is where your, your 890 Adventure R is pitched at. And for that, I think it's actually pretty perfect. It's definitely uh, down on, on suspension spec in terms of the really rough stuff. So, you know, hard corrugations, rocks, that sort of stuff, you do feel it more uh, moving around the bike on, on this bike than you do the, the Adventure R. But on the road, I actually probably prefer this bike. We had a great run up Hotham, literally only half an hour ago, charging up there. I think this bike actually maybe even feels a little bit more planted than the Adventure R does. In terms of styling, everyone's seen the photos online and everywhere. A bit skeptical again of the styling in the pictures, but when you see it in the flesh, this thing actually looks pretty amazing. The, the one thing that probably jumps out to me in terms of a, a missed opportunity is probably this, the screen, non-adjustable screen. It, you can apparently get an aftermarket option for a taller screen, 20 or 40 mil taller. But that seems like a bit of a missed opportunity for me, for the, for the blokes that do want to come out here and maybe charge up some gravel roads. Uh, maybe you drop that screen down a little bit and then you, you pop it back up when you, when you do get back out on the road. However, it does come with a bit of an ace up its sleeve in that this seat drops down 20 mil pretty easily. So the, you sort of get a bit of both worlds there. We've played around with the suspension settings, we've played around with a few other things. You, you will find a sweet spot for you and your style of riding and your weight. Electronics wise, it's pretty much the same sort of feel as the, the 890 Adventure R, which is amazing, class leading there. So you've got no dramas there. Lots of settings, modes, all that sort of stuff. Realistically, you're probably going to leave it in Enduro and just flick up and down in terms of traction control. That's probably where I'd leave it for most of the time, unless I actually wanted to do some wheelies, which I kind of do, so you, you turn that off and then you have some fun. You probably read a little bit about it, maybe in some of the marketing material, but if you want some gravel in your travel, this is probably the bike for you. We're having a ball here. We've got one more day to go. We'll see how we go tomorrow, but if it's anything like today, it's, um, it's a cracker. So. If you can, for those who are interested, you already know who you are, you're going to be interested in this bike. Get it, get on board, get it, get a ride, because you're going to love this. This is awesome. Wrapping up day two of the Husqvarna Norden 901 launch. We've had a ripping two days riding up through the high country in Victoria. An awesome mix of tarmac, gravel, some off-road stuff that was a bit snotty, but not too snotty. Yesterday, when we tackled some of the trails, uh, off the sort of off the bat, the bike was probably set up, maybe a little bit too soft. And I, I probably judged it a little bit harshly, I think, and, and said, um, you know, there was a very big gap between this bike and, and probably, you know, the 890 Adventure R, which there still is a gap there. But after we fiddle around with the, the clickers on the suspension a little bit, a couple of turns of, of extra firmness on the rear, I think four clicks of, of comp on the front and then maybe a couple of rebounds. It actually really started to liven up and this bike sort of came into its own. It's definitely not a competitor to the Adventure R and, and why would it be? That's not sort of what they're aiming for. But if you think about other bikes in the segment, bikes like the 800 GS, bikes like the Tiger 900, they now have another competitor and it's, and it's a real competitor. This, this bike shines in a really wide range of conditions. And for probably 98% of riders out there that are going to be doing probably majority tarmac, some gravel roads, maybe really occasionally a bit of snotty stuff, but not too much snotty stuff, this is going to do everything that, that those riders are going to need. And for Husqvarna fans who they haven't had this bike in the lineup for a long time, they've been frothing and waiting for a bike like this to come onto the market, this is the bike for you. It's going to, it's going to fill your garage. It's going to meet all your demands pretty comfortably. For, for other riders who are not necessarily a Husqvarna fan at this point in time, this is definitely something that you actually need to go and have a serious look at because it's a proper thing. It shouldn't be a surprise because it's based on the same sort of backbone as the, as the 890 Adventure R, that it actually works really well. Once you dial it into your type of riding and, and your sort of your weight and the way you want it, you, you, the rhythm that you ride at, 
he really is pretty capable. We, we were pushing pretty hard on the tarmac, about as fast as you would want to ride any sort of bike. Um, for those uh, Victorians that know sort of the high country pretty well, Tawonga Gap, up Hotham, we're going pretty hard. Um, and you know, even with the tyres that are on it, the dual purpose tyres, it's as solid as a rock. Like it wasn't squirming around. ABS was working beautifully. Quick Shifter was working beautifully. Really hard to fault. You know, when you do compare it to something like the GS 800, um, I think this is a better all-round package than the GS. You compare it to something like the Tiger 900, and I love the Tiger 900. I love that triple engine. I want to have its babies. But the electronics on this thing, which is pretty much shared with the KTM, is so far in advance to the electronics on, on the competitors that it kind of makes it a, a pretty compelling argument. Um, two things that I would probably change on this bike, I still would really have liked to see it with an adjustable screen on the front. I think that is still a missed opportunity. And I think the other thing that I would like to see is on the enduro mode, when you've got your adjustable traction control that goes one to nine, I'd really like it to be able to go to zero, you know, without having to go out and change modes. So you can really just dial it right off. Because even at one, there's still a little bit of interruption there, not, not much. And you really probably only feel it when you're doing wheelies, to be honest. So yeah, that's probably it for me. I think this is a cracking bike. If you can throw a leg over it at some point, do so. It will feel a little bit different to some other bikes. It's a bit wider between your knees than the Adventure R, for instance. But you spend some Ks on it and it all starts to gel. I think they've done a great job here and, and, and thanks to all the, all the folks at Husqvarna for actually inviting me along on the launch. We've had a great couple of days and I've really enjoyed it. So that's me signing off. Thanks everyone.